Okay, so let's just head into the uh, Q&A. If you have any questions regarding egg replacement or what Arla um, uh, technology offers and what Richard has done, please put it in the Q&A box right now and we will go through the questions. Um, Hello from Nigeria. The video in the video we saw fifty percent egg replacement. Can we replace hundred percent of the eggs? It it is possible. Yes, it is possible to get a good cake with hundred percent egg replacement. But okay. uh, uh, if you have a reference, there will be uh, some changes, and maybe you have to change other ingredients in your recipe. Not a type of baking powder and so on, but it is. We are selling to customers who are using it as 100% free, egg free cake. Yeah. Yeah. And it's possible. It just needs it's a little possible. more trial on your end. Exactly. And exactly. understand that with every other egg replacement um, experiments, it's not just replacing with whey. You have to use other um, supportive ingredients as well. Um, Richard, what's your opinion on this? 50 versus 100%. Uh, Yes, yes, it can be done. Uh, it will require some modification to mm. to, to replace the eggs, uh, as as the team at Arla mentioned. It's not something you know. You have to understand the process. If you have more of a continuous process, if you have a process that is more like obart and depositing by by hand, or everything can be done. But just know that replacing an egg hundred percent. It's not saying it's not doable, but you have something to give away. Uh, and the giveaway is the flavor, the color, and a bit of the texture. But getting a cake with nice volume is doable. Okay, interesting. So my question is, um, Nana Ahmed, mm -hmm. is this to replace powdered eggs or liquid eggs? Sorry, one more time. Uh, yeah, to replace could... powder or liquid eggs? You, you could replace both. Uh... We have different whey proteins, and, and we would, of course, uh, recommend different uh, products for different uh, kind of, uh, of replacement. Um, but definitely, you could replace both. Okay, um, so the next question is about cost. What is the cost uh, involved in the, the egg replacement? What kind, I guess the best way to end, answer this is to the Arla team. How much reduction in cost do you see when you use this kind of 50% egg replacement? I think that's the best way to attack this question. Yeah, that's, that, it's, yeah. it's of course depending on where you are in the world and of course of the egg prices and it's also depending on how much you eggs you have in your recipe from the beginning. But roughly we say 20, 10 to 30% of, of cost reduction. That's, even more, even more. I, I think it's even more. Richard, what's your opinion on that? What kind of, when you do your egg replacement experiments, what kind of uh, cost improvement do you see? Uh, well, I'll, I'll mention a live example from years ago. Uh, once we did it with Twinkie, we did look at everything for, you know, of course, we're looking at a large scale. Uh, we were uh, targeted, we it didn't go through because of the time of the bankruptcy, but regardless, we were targeting uh, $1.5 million in savings for the company, which is significant. You know, of course, you're comparing a large volume, but regardless, you know, if even if you scale it down for a small bakery, it could be a thousand a year, it could be $10,000 a year to a hundred thousand, the saving is there. So yes, uh, I would look into that for say, if you're looking for savings and improving the quality. And I would like to add to that as well. I've seen 30 to 40% reduction in cost, again, uh, based on where you are in this world. Um, and it also is hugely dependent on your egg supply and how consistent and how safe is your egg supply. And that is uh, on every, every developer's mind. If you are developing a cake mix or a bread mix that relies heavily on egg powder, you know, it is going to be very helpful to look into egg replacement te technology to keep your quality consistent because sometimes you may not be able to keep the egg supply consistent. So j that's just a thought, um, especially based on where you are in um, that part of Africa. So that's just a thought. 
Um, all right, let's go to the next question. Do you also have a replacement for meringue? That's an interesting one. Yes, we have. Oh, really? Course, yeah. Everything uh, that's X is involved and we can do some replacements. Oh, nice. Okay, so yes, they do have a replacement for a meringue. Reach out to the Arla team for that. Um, next question, can you tell me more about Nutrilac? What is it? Well, Nutrilac is actually a whole range of products. So again, depending on which applications uh, we are going for, uh, what this product needs, so what is the customer's need, um, we would go and, and pick different uh, kind of Nutrilac. So, so it's all whey proteins, but they are targeted for different things. So you need like a high cramp strength, then we would go for one product. Uh, do you need a more soft, resilient uh, product? Then we would choose another. So it, it, it all depends on the application uh, and, and of course, also uh, our customers' recipes. Um, how much egg are we uh, reducing and everything we need okay. to take into account. I wanted to add a little to that as well. Um, uh, people who are not familiar with whey technology, um, it is very much similar to any kind of protein technology where, you know, it's not just one functionality. When you work on whey proteins, they have different functionalities to whey proteins. And um, correct me if I'm not wrong, Nana, we have like the foaming capability, the viscosity building capability, the water absorption capability. Is that correct? Yeah, and That's correct. gel strength and gel strength. Lots. Yeah, so it depends on what your application is. The application that you use for, um, for bread is going to be the, the different application from say the meringue, you know? That's so totally it really true, yeah. depends on what your needs are. You can't use one particular way for all applications. It's, it's, it's not like flour. <laughs> all right, um, next question. Do you have a guide recipe for 100% replacement? Would yes, be interesting to evaluate reduction in cost. Yeah, we have. We have several recipes for 100% egg reduction in mostly every kind of cakes, sponge cakes, muffins, and so on. So, no and, Yeah, and if you need more information, we are uh, placing our last email on there for you to um, ask for more recipes and to ask for samples. Uh, we will place the link there uh, for you to reach out to them. So um, I'm going to direct you directly to Arla because they are, you know, um, the, the baking uh, experts on egg replacement. And um, that's something that I believe that they're better at than we are at Bakerpedia. So sending, sending you guys all the inquiries. <laughs> um, next question, have you tested it in sponge cakes? And I think this particular person is really concerned about the whipping stage because it's a critical step. That's true. <clears throat> and uh, we have tested, of course, and we, and we see the same as we see in muffins. We, we get the same results, very good results with a 50% egg replacement. It's no problem. Okay. Um, Richard, it's, what, it's do, what do you think? Like? It's a different neutral like for a sponge okay. cake because you need generation. As yeah. you don't need that in a muffin, so yes. Uh, yeah, Richard, because you've worked with large machines before, um, where do you think is a critical step in egg replacement for sponge cakes? Uh, from from what we've seen, we uh, honestly we did not change much of our system. You know, as mentioned in commercial bakeries, we are using continuous system, Oaks mixers, specifically it goes through continuous. We might have to, we were maybe changing the back pressure uh, uh, to, to get a little more. But one thing that was great is we were not losing, you're getting volume. 
using that protein and don't know in 100 percent, but in 50 percent you get volume so it's it's a gain so technically you shouldn't have to worry too much with that process if you're about whipping because uh, with the seven five i'm gonna say seven five six five before i confuse my numbers uh, it worked well and to the point that the arla team made earlier i remember playing with several different modified whey protein and they all had different functionality but for the one to replace sex was the best and i would i'm sure i would check with them and they can recommend the best you know application for your solution yeah i way. also okay. wanted to add that sponge cakes are very different from um the cream cakes or um high ratio cakes sponge cakes are actually a little more fragile and um Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, perhaps more of that meringue style replacement, Mads? Yeah, that's true, that's true. But I can just add that we also have a continuous mixture in our bakery lab and we have been tested. Oh, awesome. There you so, go. So we know <laughs> what, there. What, which buttons to, to turn on. So with big success, we have done tests. Awesome. Many years, actually. OK, great. Um, next question, what would the effect of using emulsifiers with the egg replacement? Um, so I, I guess I'll rephrase this question. Yeah. Would you use emulsifiers with egg replacement? And if so, what kinds of emulsifiers? <clears throat> we, we don't recommend to, to add extra emulsifiers normally. But if there is emulsifiers in a recipe, just let them stay there because they do that job. It's not depending on if there is emulsifiers or not. If that's a good answer. Okay, so you're saying that your whey product would have the emulsification capability as yes. well. Okay. Yes. All right. So um, same uh, emulsification properties as X as. Okay. There you go. That's your answer. Can you replace some of the egg in custard? This is going to be an interesting one. I, I want to hear the answer to this one. <laughs> custard application. Have you been successful in replacing eggs in that? Uh, I think we have tried it. Yeah, but uh, I, I actually I can't remember the results, but uh, I don't think we, we had big success with that. Okay. Um, so not very much success in custard, guys. All right, next question. Does it work in a pound cake? Of course it does. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Yes, the same as um, in muffin sauce sponge cakes. It's no ooh, problem at all. This one's interesting. Um, can I make a potato omelet with the product? Let's say we haven't tried that, but maybe we could try it in the future. Interesting. We haven't, we haven't done any on the answer to that one. <laughs> That's great. Um, New application. We, next question. Can we use this ingredient for gluten and grain-free formulas? That's interesting. Yes, you can. And we have recipes for gluten-free pizza dough and so on. So we have a range of gluten-free gluten -free cakes as well. Great. It's Another type of Nutrilax, but still it's whey proteins. So we have recipes for that as well. Very good recipes, actually. Nice. Yes. That's great. Um, next question. I have tried to make egg-free biscotti with mm -hmm. Pal's gut ingredients. I have found that egg-free cake is possible to make, but when you bake it after slicing, it doesn't get dry like biscotti always remains soft. Doesn't matter, matter how long we bake. Ooh, that's an interesting challenge. Um, do you guys understand what this question is? Uh, make egg free with Pascal ingredients. Yeah, but then you haven't tried the, the Nutrilac. Okay, so you it guys have work. tried it will work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It will work. Don't worry. It will work. It will remain, it will dry out and remain exactly. uh, get exactly. crunchy. Yes. That's what we want. Yeah, a lot of the um, issues with egg-free uh, replacement in biscotti is you, you're replacing it somewhat with something else like a fiber or 
you know, a hydrocolloid. Correct me if I'm wrong, Richard. But when you do this kind of replacement, the glass transition temperatures aren't the same. So you're not going to get the kind of crisp and crunch. You okay. have to, I don't know, replace it with um, some form of a protein. Actually, I think the way the cakes display and gives you a little more on the crunch. And it's interesting because the control cream cake versus the egg replacement uh, you get a little more of a, how can I explain on the top, a little bit of a crispiness. And I think it's derived from the protein and the functionality of the protein uh, versus an egg, you know, which is both the egg yolk and the egg white is slightly different functionality. Uh, I think it could work. Yeah. Okay. Um, next question. I have uh, some on my own, but before I go there, um, Cynthia has another question. When you use Arla's solution, okay. What about the shelf life of the finished product? Is it going? Is is it possible to have a longer shelf life with Arla solution? Yeah, you, you need to define your longer shelf life because it's not a preservative, um, but it will give you uh, some benefits with the sensory um, your sensory um, feel of the cake. So it will be. Um, the perception would actually be more freshness. Um, so you will keep a lumpy texture when you eat the cake. Um, and that's what we call longer shelf life. But don't uh, think <clears throat> that the, this uh, works as a preservative. Um, it's another uh, kind of extending shelf life. <clears throat> yeah. actually, it, actually, we had a, a study where we, we made some muffins. <clears throat> and we measured them uh, during 26 uh, weeks. And uh, from the beginning and at the end, we had an external uh, sensory panel to evaluate them. And it, they found out that ours, at, after 26 weeks uh, long shelf life for often, they were much more softer and more moist <clears throat> with the 50% egg replacement. I, I think the moistness is a huge, is a huge factor. Yeah. They become more moist with the egg replacement over time. Right. And of course, we have Richard, you know, our shelf life extension specialist. Richard, well, what's, your, what's your point of view on this one? Can you weigh in? Uh, well, I'll, I'll talk about what I've done. Uh, I've done studies on, you know, commercial as, you know, products like Twinkies, and I've done uh, products for branded items like for KFC. Um, you know, to try to, and it was interesting in the, in the KFC was a, a free stuff frozen product. And I tried the egg and egg replacement. And at that time I did actually try, uh, we're talking 10, 10, 11 years ago, several other egg replacers on the market and the Arla product performed better in free stuff. Uh, did it increase the shelf life? I think it's a great point you made uh, uh, earlier. It, you're going to have to determine that yourself, you know how to extend because you have to set up your what's your shelf life today and it's not going to automatically extend it it's going to improve and make your product better over time and in the ambient uh, shelf life uh, we were seeing same principle the product was better at day x you know that we're extending and was a better improved product versus the one with the eggs thank you richard Welcome. Yeah, uh, Nana and Matt, you have to get up and wave your arms once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I love that you guys are sustainable, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Would you recommend using hydrocolloids in like HBMC, Zendan gum with Neutralac to improve batter stabilization and crumb moistness? Uh, they, you can always use hydrocolloids, but if you're doing an egg replacement with our neutral egg, there's no need to add extra hydrocolloids. Normally, we, we don't see a reason for that. Okay, thanks. Can it also be used as a glaze on dough products? Sm shiny, smooth glaze. Certainly, yes. We have a special product for that instead of eggs, and uh, that's a huge cost saving, and it's you can apply it before baking or after baking, and you will get the same shine as, as eggs, and much easier to, to use than eggs. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, I didn't know that. 
Um, another question for long shelf life cakes to last up to six months, six months to a year shelf life. Um, they use enzymes. Will this solution work for long shelf life cakes? Yes, it will. It will. Of course, right. it will. But yeah. it won't replace the 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 function of enzymes, right? No, no, no. no. You still have to use enzymes. But, but if you are using en enzymes to get a, a we'll say, softer and moister and better cake over time. Then, like, like it's it's binding together with with the nose. Like they work actually. Normally, we see that they work very good together with the enzymes. So you even, even get more benefits from the enzymes when you're using the nose. Like. Okay. Um, and if you have any more questions on shelf life and cakes, um, I think Richard and I produced a YouTube episode on this. It's on the Baker TV. Um, channel on YouTube. So go um, look it up. We've got all the solutions for you on a video. Um, can it be a substitute safely in marzipan to eliminate shelf life problems? I don't know, does marzipan use eggs, Richard? No, no. Uh, no, no, you, yeah, you can, no, you can no. use an, an almond paste. You can use a little bit of egg white of almond powder yeah, and a sugar, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it would be it would be the the other product that you I don't know if it would you, you can replace that okay okay um is Arla available in Australia do you have a distributor there yes we have we have yeah yeah maybe you could um uh, maybe um Australians can reach out to the email we have on the chat box and ask. Yeah. Who the distributor is in Australia? Yes. No yeah. problems. We have a distributor in Australia. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, my questions, actually, I do have a list of questions here. Um, I wanted to ask: Do I need to change the time and temperature of the oven when you replace Neutralac? So you know, Richard, when you were baking this, was there any difference in the heat treatment part portion of the replacement? The, the, what we had found out is to slightly reduce the heat because it has the tendency to brown a little quicker, just to look, you know, it, it, in comparisons, maybe on the scale of zero to no changes to 100, the maximum, it was about this five to 10% changes in coloration. So, which was not a problem. Uh, so it's an advantage as well. You could speed up the oven by 5%. Uh, okay. Um, how about... Mads, what's your recommendation mm. on this? And normally we don't see that you need to change the time and temperature, but as he says that it could be. Sometimes you have to, to do it. And then simply because of, of the note, like there's a small amount of lactose that gives you a little bit of browning effect. Hmm. Okay. Um, uh, this question is really interesting because some of us use inclusions within the better. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and we know inclusions are heavier. Will it affect, will this particular egg replacement affect the distribution of the inclusions? No, we haven't seen that. I okay. Um, another question came in. Anyone, um, do you guys have a distributor in Nigeria? Well, I think we'll have to find out, you know, now. Um, well, uh, I'm not yeah, really you guys sure. Just need to reach out to the email that we put below, yeah. and um, they would the marketing department would be able to uh, get the answers for you. Um, next question: Will Aller's ingredient work with preservatives like fumaric acid or Calpro, calcium propionate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the question is, if, if we are using it in some of our recipes or because then the answer is yes, of course. Uh, we, we well, I think the question is more like um, they are using that. So is that going to be mm -hmm. any kind of detrimental, you know, functional ingredient problems if you replace eggs with whey? Okay. No, so, no, no. Uh, as is, no. yeah. So it's perfect. Stay, stay at, if you do the egg replacement, stay at the same amount of preservatives. It's, it's okay. Okay. How about egg yolks? Can it be used to replace only egg yolks? Yes, 
And we have actually in uh, donuts, if you use egg yolks and donuts, we have seen very good results with that. 50 or 100%? Uh, 100%. Interesting. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Um, let's see. Now, my question is on water activity. Will yes. the water activity in the 50% egg replacement change? And will the dry matter change? Uh, no, not at all. Actually, all the studies we have done, we don't see a difference. It's totally the same. Okay. Um, my last question, and if there are no more questions, this is going to be the last question. Um, how can a baker, when using your product, label your product on the ingredient label? Weigh ingredients. Just weigh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you, I don't know, this is the general questions, I guess. Is it a clean ingredient? It is a clean ingredient, yes. Okay. So um, that is all that I have in the question queue. I mean, that was a lot of questions. I was like, <laughs> you guys are just troopers. Thank you, Richard. And thank you, Nana Mads. Um, it was a great uh, round table. And if we um, have any more questions for you, um, you all can reach out to Mads and Nana down at the email that we have placed. Um, and we also produced a baker paper together on egg replacement. So don't forget to download that. It is on our um, Academy page. One last thing. If you uh, or someone you want to watch this seminar, it is going to be available in about a week so that you can share it as well. So before we go, um, Nana, Mads, or Richard, do you have any last words on egg replacement? Well, I, I will add one one last word and uh, that I heard from a, a good friend that is uh, no longer called Soren, used to work for Arla Foods. Uh, it was based in the U.S. And I remember the first time we talked about egg and egg replacement, he looked at me and he said, think about it. Do you think a chicken lays an egg to make a cake? And I said, huh. He said, no, it's a biological thing. So you'll see changes within the eggs that are being produced. But at Arla, which is true, with their technology, they can create consistency with the products you get and therefore eliminating all of the inconsistency issues that bakeries are dealing with. So that's the point I wanted to make, so. Good Thanks, point. Richard. Yeah. Nana, or Matt, any last words? Mm. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, yeah. then please reach out. Yes, yeah. we're always uh, ready to, to answer questions and help you if you're going to use our Nutrilex. So, yes. All right.